Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mitsubishi Outlander XL. Mitsubishi Outlander XL was equipped with either front or, wheel, or all wheel drive. With the front, everything is very clear, but the complete one on most trim levels is plugged in here with a dry clutch. However, options are possible. In addition to the standard transmission, you can find S A W C on cars for the Japanese market last years with a V6 engine and a permanent full one with transmission elements from the first Outlander on tuning versions. While a very collective farm with the installation of notes from Lancer is a fairly widespread option not only in our country. The Americans succeeded in this now less, and some of the overseas cars may have such a surprise in the transmission. In operational terms, a conventional plug-in all-wheel drive doesn't carry any particular difficulties. It is not perfect, it happens that it overheats and jerks the rear axle in corners, but it lasts for a long time. Before runs of 200,000 km, you don't have to worry much too much. It also doesn't require special maintenance, except that the oil in the vehicle gear needs to be changed 60-80,000 mileage, otherwise it may make noise from the berries. With manual transmissions, everything is generally fine too. If you do not miss the oil level and change it at least closer to 100,000 mileage, then with runs over 200, they are still quite alive. Unless the synchronizers are already worn out, and even if they slip for a long time, the differential can grab. There have been cases of its axle coming out of the body of, with the destruction of the box. With automatic transmissions, things are a little more complicated. Many are very afraid of the variator, and for some reason the rumor attributes its production to the Eisen company. In fact, the only version of the CVT was installed on the Outlander, and that is widespread Jetco JF11E. Such boxes can be found on all cars on the Mitsubishi platform, as well as on Renault, Nissan and even Jeep and Dodge. However, there is nothing surprising. Once again, look at the list of related models, all of them were equipped with similar motors and gearboxes. The variator is a rather simple thing in design, and he almost never has minor breakdowns, he either works or not. Oddly enough, this is a plus. On cars after 2008, this box doesn't have any childhood diseases, it doesn't bother with minor glitches and glitches. With careful movement, 150 and 200,000 km can go out without bothering with mistakes. You just need to change the oil more often and follow the rules for using the variator, a minimum of shock loads and as little load as possible and extreme gear ratios. Unfortunately, the 2.4 engine is already almost the maximum power for this box, and on a relatively heavy out, variator doesn't last too long. The bearings of the box are damaged, the belt wears out and lifts up the cones already by the run of 150-180,000 during typical operation. With a 2-liter engine, the box lasts much longer, since the owner is less likely to do something stupid. However, the variator is generally quite sensitive to the operating mode, and it is relatively easy to kill it. In addition, there is a birth disease with the well of the oil pump of the box. If the oil is contaminated, there is very chance of losing pressure and getting for serious repairs, with at least replacing the pump itself or restoring it. The variator should not vibrate and hold. These are the first signs of damage to bearings or cones with the chain. There should be no noise, even rustling noise. This could be a sign of wear or damage to the belt. And starting from a place at low revolutions should be smooth and wear gears enough not requiring a strong increase in the revolutions. Many did not change the oil in the box until noises and twitching appear, thereby finishing off the boil, the oil pump and the control system. After such a treatment restoring, the variator can be very expensive. The 3-liter V6 was equipped with a conventional Jetco jf 613 e hydraulic automatic. This 6-speed transmission can withstand more torque than the variator, but it has more minor problems and the resource is not so great. The gas turbine engine is quite reliable with quiet movement and in this module has the almost infinite resource, but the 3 liter engine is already taken not at all for quiet movement. In the pedal to the floor mode, the blocking pad for the gas turbine engine is eating up rather quickly. With this automatic transmission, it is not designed for such a tough attitude. This is not the death for you, where such a mode is almost standard. But even with moderately quiet movement, the well body solenoids remind of themselves. On 6 speed gearboxes, they are heavily loaded, and with a slight oil contamination, they quickly fail. Fortunately, in this case, a frequent change of the gearbox oil greatly improves the situation and prolongs the resource of the gearbox as a whole. There are copies with mileage over 300,000 without repair, but it is difficult to guess with a copy. An automatic transmission self diagnostics doesn't provide accurate data on adaptation and predicted resource. In general, the automatic transmission is considered resourceful and very successful for 6-speed gears, but whether you are lucky with a particular car is a separate question. 
Mitsubishi engines are traditionally good. The set includes both a high resource and a very well thought out design. True, the new generation of motors that were installed on the Outlander 4B11 and 4B12 have some nuances related to chain resource, but in general they are one of the most successful motors of their size on the market. They were installed not only in Mitsubishi cars and clones, but also on Hyundai, Kia, Chrysler, Dodge and Jeep cars. As for the V6 3.0 of the SXB31 series, despite the new name, the engine of a rather venerable age as a product of further improvement of the 6G7 engine line, familiar from Progero. The very good quality of the engine management system in the latest Mitsubishi models is one of the strengths of the model. And in terms of the mechanical part, everything is not bad, except that the resource of chains of the order of 120-150,000 km is not enough, but this is a general trend. And the replacement price is relatively low, when using high-quality, non-original components less than 15,000 rubles. Among the generic source, perhaps the floating speed and noisy timing of engines. With runs under 200,000 km, wear on the valve guides and seats leads to an increase in oil consumption and clogging of the piston group. With overheating, such problems may appear much earlier. This usually ends with an overhaul of the engine, with the restoration of the cylinder head and replacement of the piston rings. The wear of the piston group is usually minimal. Rarely, but there are cases of loss of oil pressure with damage to the crankshaft, liners and connecting rods, and most often the problems happens with 2.4 liter engines. Moreover, sometimes the cause of the loss of pressure cannot be found. The maintainability of the motors is assessed by the craftsman as low. There are no repair sizes of the liners, but they are suitable from the Nissan SR20, where everything is in order with the repair sizes. But the piston group is quite reliable, only with runs over 250,000 there is a tangible development of cylinders and pistons. When repairing 2.4 engines, it is recommended to always install new connecting rod bolts or even buy reinforced union ones. A 3 liter engine is considered more reliable, but in practice it still surpasses the 4 at the cost of maintenance and the chances of serious repairs with runs under 200,000 are very high. A reliable timing belt drive is not a hassle, just need to change it on time. But the camshafts with high mileage may already be worn out, and sometimes the camshaft bed and the rocker arms of the pushers are damaged. The oil pump is also in the risk zone, since it is relatively inexpensive, 17,000 rubles for the original one and half as much for the compatible one. It is recommended to measure the oil pressure with runs over 100,000 and, if necessary, replace it or repair. Leaks are the second major engine problem. And all would be fine, but if the oil gets on the timing belt, the consequences will be very serious. Outlander's engine mountings are consumable. They often have to be changed every third MOT with an active driving style. In addition, the motor is very easy to overheat, since the radiators cannot cope with its hot character in the heat. Otherwise, everything is favorable. The resource of the piston group is large, there are almost no minor problems with leaks, all getting into antifreeze and other troubles. Contract units are cheap and the control system is reliable, except that the lambda sensors are quite capricious and the catalyst begin to crumble after 150,000 mileage. If not noticed in time, this will lead to bulking of the piston group. Diesel engines are mainly represented by a Volkswagen 2-liter unit. Actually, the main problems of the owners of such miracle are related to the fact that they simply do not know this motor in Mitsubishi services, and in the Volkswagen services, in turn, they do not know from which end to approach it. After all, it has its own control system. It would seem that the Outlander XL is a good, fairly fresh car. Besides, it is large and very family and is inexpensive. The advantages include very reliable units by modern standards, almost all of them with a guarantee nursing 200,000 km and with some luck and care even more. But the controllability and ergonomics seem to the average owner to be a fiction of journalists and nothing more, and the buyer doesn't count on the corrosion of a 6-7 years old Japanese at all. So negative reviews are usually the result of serious disappointment. The result of small and not so much problems is not always an adequate price for spare parts. The bulk of the expenditure is inexpensive and even when compared with European models. And the choice of the non-original is quite impressive, since the USA loves alternative manufacturers. On this information about the problems of the Mitsubishi Outlander XL is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.